Here are five magical tips to attract abundance in life, which you do not want to miss. Stay with me. Hi everyone, this is Jaya Karam Chanani. Welcome to Invincible Passion Talk Show where every week I share with you some of my thoughts and content to help you have a better life and an aligned life. Try to be happier. So what are these tips? Before I share, quickly hit the subscribe button and don't forget to give us a like and a share so you can help your friends attract abundance as well. So the very first tip. As a habit, make sure you are using salt water in the mopping in, at your home. Once a month, absolutely, but try to go twice a month. And what kind of salt? Salt that is chunky, big pieces. That is the best. Just put it in the water and if your house is all carpeted, so wherever the area is, either the hardwood floors or the cemented area where you can, try to do that. And why should you do salt? Salt is known for its potency for removing negativity. And when you do that in your home, so you are cleansing the house from the mosquitoes, the sickness, the plugs, the negativity, or evil eye, whatever you call it. Second, what you can do is do the white sage cleansing. So you can do on the new moon or the full moon, how to do, have a container of the steel or an earthen pot or a crystal or a glass, I would say, or a wooden, anything that you can hold so you don't burn your hand. And on the other hand, you need to have a bell. So what you got to do is early in the morning, you take that bowl, light the white sage, and it's going to have the fumes. And why should you do? The cleansing used to be a habit when people walk into a new home or there is a celebration, arrival of a new baby or a marriage, or there has been struggles in the family or whatever. When one does the cleansing, the invocation or call the havan, the energies, the fire, the whole environment gets cleansed. But with the change of time or lack of time, the faster process is take the bowl early in the morning, put some sage, light it. In the other hand, have the bell. Now stand at the front door of your home. Start from your left side. Walk every nook and corner of the home, all the rooms. With the bowl in the hand, in the mind chant, I'm cleansing the house and attracting abundance while ringing the bell continuously. The noise or the sound from the bell ringing eliminates the evil energies, the negativities and attracts abundance. Once you complete, come to the front door and leave that bowl outside because the fumes will still last two, three hours. Come back inside your home, put the bell at the prayer area, wherever, go take a shower. After shower, once the fumes die out, put whatever is left over in a trash bag and throw it in the trash. Now, ideally make sure nobody is at home. Folks have gone to work, kids have gone to school. If you can do that in the morning, try to do it in the afternoon, but not after sunset. It cleanses the house. I will leave the link in the description for the white sage. Cleansing is not just the environment, it's what you inhale and you breathe. So you will feel the freshness in the home. Third thing you can do is create a vision board. I will leave the link in the description. I've already done the full video on how to create the vision board. You can take a look at there. Vision board is visually keeping the board in front of you so your energies align what I trying to manifest. What you can do the next thing is charge the water in the full moon. You can do once a month, twice in six months, whatever works for you. What you got to do is look at the calendar, mark your calendar whenever it is full moon, take a glass of made of glass or steel, fill it with water, keep it outside the whole night so the moon energy charges that water. Next day in the morning, even when you are in periods, you can still do it. After shower, take that water and sprinkle every nook and corner of the house. Moon energy is very potent. In fact, a lot of people who do Reiki and other healings, they are asked to charge their crystals in the full moon. So full moon energy is very potent. Next morning, you sprinkle in every corner of the house. It will energize, remove negativity. It will bring the health and freshness in your life. 
these rituals were only a part of everyday life but as life got busier people didn't have much time or for the lack of time or effort negativity started to creep up and struggles and somewhere there was still the need for something that is efficient but still gives the same result in that desire is what brought this episode these are simple remedies but very powerful now what you can do is additionally as you see on the screen this infinity symbol i have also added some powerful abundance quotes inside it's a blue color symbol on the white paper you can hand draw it keep it in your wallet or as you see my instagram handle go there and take the image the screenshot and you can print it and keep it in your wallet this attracts abundance that's why it's called infinity symbol infinite abundance additionally i have charged these with other codes as well so today was all about these powerful five tips to help you attract abundance in life i won't say without costing much but one thing you have to keep in mind is your mind keep it fresh be surrounded by folks who really elevate your energy and when you cleanse the atmosphere you will also feel the change in your thoughts as well i hope you enjoy this episode don't forget to give us a like and hit the subscribe button and share as well i'll see you soon take care